to the similar shows. The series of shows are developed to express Haitian pride here in America and also in Haiti. The purpose of the show is to entertain, inform, educate, and also to create a good ambiance. Salut les amis, welcome to the Eye on the Caribbean. Eye on the Caribbean is the show that inform and entertain in a fun way. We are very lucky to have in our studio, oh, I forgot, my name is Sammy Lehis. I am your host. We are very lucky to have in our studio La Charmante, the charming and the super chef, Marta Rose from Santa Monica. She was born and raised in uh, Florida. She has, has traveled extensively to the Caribbean, and she fell in love with the Cuban cuisine, and she came up with some uh, super ideas and had to really finish those wonderful dishes like crab cakes, uh, pen roasted, sniper, and we also are so fortunate to have a great audience and also some sponsors who are here and to share those fabulous dishes with us. Well, I'm not going to talk about it. We're going to make it happen. So I'll see you guys later. Hi, we're back again, but this time with our super guest, the super chef. Her name is Marta Rose. Marta, welcome to the Eye on the Caribbean. Thank you, Sammy. Glad to be here. Marta owns a super catering Malibu in Santa Monica. Marta catered to the super, superstar, upscale people. Do you have time to cook something for us today? Because we are not that great, you know, we're just common people. Of course I do, Sammy. It's already prepared. And then Marta is going to display with ostentation her skills and her to make the Caribbean dishes so easy. So I will ask the viewers to take a pen, a piece of paper, because she has some good things to tell us. Marta, one more time, and welcome to the show, and it's been a while, we've been talking about it. Yes. And we finally get to, yes. to talk in front of the camera. Uh, are you nervous? No, I'm good. very happy to be here. I would like to see that smile. All right. Um, would you please tell us, um, how the whole thing start? How the whole thing started? Well, I love Caribbean food. My love for Caribbean food and the Caribbean culture goes back to childhood, really. I'm from Florida. I was born and raised in Florida. You from Florida? Oh, yes. Close all. And uh, my family took a lot of vacations down in South Florida, Miami, Key West, um, some places in the Caribbean, some islands. So through my travels, just collecting recipes and menus, and my love for cooking, I just grew up knowing Cuban food, Latino, and well, loving it. Well, tell us about that Nuevo La Latino cuisine. Nuevo Latino is a kind of cuisine. It's actually very hot right now. And what it is, it's hot. New, new Latin is what it means. It's taking traditional, like Cuban or Latin food, the countries like Chile, Brazil, Argentina, uh, using South American ingredients and cooking them with Mediterranean influences. And then I put a little twist on it. I add a little bit of healthy gourmet California. Oh, and then, then you have a Finnish Caribbean dish. That's right. Oh my goodness, that's great. Um, speaking of that, and I'm getting hungry. Uh, would you please tell us how long have you been doing it? I've been catering for a very long time, Sammy. I've had my business, my Alibu Catering, for four years in Los Angeles oh, now. Oh, Los Angeles, okay. Yeah, yeah. And um, we do what I call, I kind of morphed a term, Caribbean cuisine. Caribbean? What's yeah. that? Well, it's the morphing of Cuban and Caribbean. And, mm. you know, like I said, it's the traditional with a little bit of islandy, a little bit of I like gourmet. It. I like it, I like it, Caribbean. Yeah. It, it's me, it's my stuff. Caribbean. 
Yeah, yeah. 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 or just take notes. Caruban. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, and tell us about your background as for your folks. I mean, do your folks and do your mother taught you how to make Caribbean food, or this is something that you learned you know, my, during your traveling to the Caribbean islands? And a lot of it was just learning on my own. My mother did teach me how to cook a mm -hmm. long time ago, and I watched her and helped her in the kitchen growing up. And I just really developed a love for Cuban food and Caribbean on my own. And so, whenever we'd get home from a family trip, I'd take everything I'd gathered and kind of turn the kitchen into my laboratory and start concocting and experimenting. And I came up with a huge repertoire of dishes that now I serve at my Alibu. Are you sure you're not from the Caribbean? <laughs> I've been to the Caribbean. I'd love to live there, actually. Is that right? Mm -hmm. uh, but but y your folks, they are not from the Caribbean. You are no. not from Cuba. Are no, you? no, no. I, we were, we're, they're from the Northeast, actually. I'm Swedish and Irish. No Latin in me. Welcome to the Eye on the Caribbean. <laughs> but, uh, but you know very well that uh, most of uh, people on this country, especially uh, the upscale with educated palate, they tend not to like the spicy food. Mm -hmm. and, and it seems to me that you, know, you, you seem to be rather at, at home with the Caribbean uh, well, food. Come. Caribbean food is, be very spicy. I, I go both ways at my Alibu. A lot of my clients and people I care for do not like spicy food and they can't, their palates can't really handle highly seasoned food. Personally, I love it. I would prefer to eat that way all the time. How did you develop the, the, uh, that palate? You know, because spice, uh, you have to develop the palate. Uh, probably just from eating a heck of a lot of it. <laughs> yes, but um, uh, is it difficult to learn uh, to make Caribbean dishes? Uh, was, was that difficult for you? It's not difficult if you love doing it. I have a real passion for it. I would, I would call cooking actually a hobby and a love before I'd call it my oh business. My um, when I go the same way some people can listen to a song and sit down at their instrument and play it, I can have a dish in a restaurant, figure out what's in it from the spices on down, and go home and create it. And then I always add my own little twist to it. But uh, speaking of Caribbean dishes, what have you got? for us tonight? Well, I've got a four-course meal planned for tonight. Uh -huh. Starts with my South Beach macadamia crab cakes oui, with madame. a mango cream mousse. Tell me about it. Uh, let, a note here, I love to combine uh, crunchy with smooth. Oh my goodness. Different textures, opposing temperatures, mm. opposing flavors. Mm. So like I may take a Could very... stop? A spicy, you're getting hungry here? I might take something spicy and warm and, and crunchy and cool, uh, pair it with a cool, creamy thing. Uh -huh. it's, it's enticing, it's more interesting that way. After the crab cakes, we're going to go cleanse the palate a little bit with organic baby green salad and a passion fruit vinaigrette that I've made. Well, it's got some mango in it. Well, some restaurants, when they say crab cakes and they use it, uh, they use something else. And then the other day I had some crab cakes, and they were not crab cakes. Oh, well, I use crab. I use crab. I, like, I, I saw the crab before I it like, became I like a crab cake. I like to smell the crab in crab cakes. You'll probably be able to smell the crab in mine. Okay. My twist, though, is the macadamias. Have you I'm ever had crab cakes you. with macadamias in them? Oh, no. Okay, this will be something new for you. So this is a mariage of Hawaii and uh, the Caribbean and uh, macadamia nuts and... Well, there and again, that's my own little twist. I just happen to love macadamia nuts. Tell uh, me. Certain things that I love find their way in many of the cuisines I do, like passion fruit. Mm. Uh, I try to put passion fruit into as many things as I possibly and, can. Uh, but of course, with a lot of passion to it. There you go. Nice flavor, too. Where, where will the, the uh, people can buy those ingredients, the spices? Um, a lot of the seasonings and ingredients I use in my dishes can only be bought at specialty markets. There's a lot of Latin and Caribbean markets actually in Culver City that I go to. And uh, things like passion fruit concentrate, uh, plantanos, yuca, malanga, you can't get a lot of that in regular American grocery stores. Um, I use things with tamarind in it oh, and guava paste. Uh, yes, okay, now yes, we're talking your language. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Yes, 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 and then yes, even yes, down yes. to the decor, things like banana leaves for the table, you can't buy in an American supermarket. Oh, yes. Um, so I, I, I look at the table, it seems to me that you, you really display a uh, beautiful um, uh, corbet, if let's say, a whole bouquet of fruits. I see banana, mangoes, pineapple. 
Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, can't wait to All taste them. All my favorites. I mean, it's it, colorful and fresh. It natural. is colorful, it's vivid color. Really, it's very eye appealing, and, and I'm feeling. But uh, tell me something. Um, but your friends are they also involved in your uh, endeavors? In the endeavors, do they call you to fix meals, and do you have a lot of uh, call for functions and weddings and? I do well. The first thing you asked about my friends, uh, a lot of my friends do help me cater. They'll serve for me, they'll help me prep in the kitchen, they'll bartend. Um, what my Alibu Catering really specializes in are small dinner parties around town, um, anywhere from 30 less people. Are you expensive? Mm, depending on what the budget is. There's a budget for everyone. Take notes. Yes, uh, you were saying that um, about the dishes, uh, but you, you, can, you can only cater to 30 people. I can Ma do larger events, but Ma I can get more creative, more creative and do a four or five course event when it's a smaller party. Like I said, 30 to 40 or less. For larger things, I've done wrap parties, premieres, um, different things for commercial ventures. We would probably have a simpler menu. I mean, uh, are you thinking of opening up a restaurant? Oh yes, that was always the plan, actually. Tell me about the plan. Well, from the time I was a little girl, I wanted to have a restaurant, own and operate one, and I had named it when I was very young, Mayalibu, which there again is another morphing of my two favorite cities, Miami and Malibu. Cuisine from coast to coast was kind of the premise of it. So I thought it might be a good foot in the door to start out with catering and then do this a few years, learn what it's all about, the food industry, and then open the restaurant down the road. And the first Mayalibu will probably be in South Beach, Miami. Ah, uh, excuse me, South Beach, Miami. Hmm. But, but tell us, um, um, tell us actually, what about all the things that you like about the Caribbean? I like everything about the Caribbean so far that I've witnessed. You like the music? I love the music. I like the food, of course. Mm -hmm. I like the people. Um, I like the place itself, the weather, is fine. The terrain is beautiful. The water is gorgeous. Uh, yes. I just like the lifestyle and the pacing and the timing of it all. You, you go like there the and time just it's, seems to go on slow. and on and on forever. It's a slow It's life. a great reprieve from life in L L.A., Los Angeles. There's no television, no telephone, and uh, people just, well, you know, everything so mañana, tomorrow. You can have a phone. It depends on where you go. Where the, the Keep it to a minimum, though. Well, the, the Caribbean that I like is the, is the one where there's no phone, no television, and I just feel free and then enjoying, you know, the, the nature and the people and and then take one day at a time. I, I don't know what I want, but I know what I want when I see it. Well, there's a lot of beauty in the Caribbean. Yes. Uh, I love the Virgin Islands. I've been to the Bahamas a lot. You've been to the Bahamas? The little islands around there. And actually, there's a lot of islands I still have yet to go to. Yes, um, are you familiar with some of the dish, uh, some of the also uh, seafood in the Caribbean, like conch and, and oh, yes. uh, shells? Oh, uh, yes. I, I love conch, and conch is really hard to get in Los Angeles. Would you please tell me just what conch is? Conch? Well, conch is a, you've seen a big conch shell. It's in the clam family, and it's uh, a piece of meat that comes out. And what they do, all throughout the Caribbean, there's little conch stands. This is great. And they take something to kind of relax the muscle and, and clunk it out and get the meat. And then they tenderize it with a mallet, dice it, score it right there, put fresh lime juice, uh, all kinds of peppers and tomatoes and onions. Unbelievable. And uh, give it to you, conch salad right there, fresh. Unbelievable. It's delicious. You know very well that if men eat too much conch, what's going to happen to them? Tell me, Sammy, what happens? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's no secret. Okay. Yes, and on the Caribbean, they say that you know there's something aphrodisiac about. Uh, about oh, okay. Uh, yes. Uh, it must be in the oyster family then, because I yes, have heard that. The, yes, you know, especially uh, back home, we we fix it with stew. Mm. We make a stew of it. Conch uh, chowder, conch we, stew. Uh, we make chowder, and we also make a dish out of it with mm. a little sauce called the sauce malice. Mm. The sauce malice is a mixture of little tomato spice, and then they, and then they and they let the conch for hours on the slow motion mm, and when you delicious. come out and everything yeah, and then you you eat it mm, effortlessly mm. It just melts in your mouth uh, melt in your mouth well mm. uh, you had asked about what kind of seafood is there uh, a lot of red snapper is served throughout the Gulf and the Caribbean 
And in fact, that's one of the dishes we're going to be having tonight. After I serve the salad, we're going to have my pan-seared red snapper with spicy seasonings. Then I do cilantro and lime, and I've made a special aioli. What that is, oh, it's like a garlicky mayonnaise tell me about it. that I put cilantro and lime in and drizzle it over. And it's, I think you'll like it. Well, there's a difference between lime and lemon because in the cooking, in the, back home, we use a lot of lime. Mm -hmm. Over here, people use lemon. Lemon tend to leave the, that aftertaste. But then the lime really, especially if you're doing um, seafood, the lime is supremely um, important to use in the making of it. And then actually a step beyond that is key lime is better than regular lime for what I do. And regular lime seems to be kind of sour, whereas uh -huh. key lime is a tart. It, yes. It's a special tart, juicy consistency that just goes really well with most seafood, it seems. And then, and of course, and then what do we have for garnishing? Garnishes are the cilantro and the lime. Mm -hmm. I always do a lot of fresh kale and lettuces underneath. I love greenery. It's natural and fresh looking. And then um, the Ebor rice salad, I haven't mentioned yet. Ebor City is a city in Tampa, Florida, which is a lot of Cuban people. It's an old Cuban community, Ooh, actually. Yes, so yes, this is a yes. saffron Spanish rice yes. that I put up. Put is that saffron from Spain or saffron from uh, local saffron? It was imported from Spain, actually. Okay. Yeah. By the way, saffron is the most expensive spice. One ounce costs about many, about forty to fifty dollars. I think. I've seen that little yeah. threads of it you can buy yes. in, in specialty stores. In specialty store, yeah, everything. Yeah. Well, I put olives, green and black olives, uh, pimentos, lots of garlic. Ooh. Ooh. I do a little bit of sherry, oh, olive oh. oil, and uh, just mix it up. Oh, it's very, oh. very aromatic, and it goes well with the snapper. It goes well with the snapper, and of mm -hmm. course, I'm sure that. We, we're going to have some um, beverage with it too, you know, and then... Well, we're going to be having different kinds of wines with the oh, whole meal, which oh, oh. we have our wine connoisseur. Tell me about it. Yeah, Tell and me then about it. save room for dessert now. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. Oh, Every oh, Mayalabu meal comes oh, equipped please. with dessert. Oh, please. Tell me more. Tell me more. Well, do you like guava? Yes, guava, yes. It's my middle name, oh, guava. Sammy guava. Yes. I've whipped up a guava cheesecake that we're going to be having with none other than strong Cuban coffee to have with it. Uh, One always has to finish a meal with that. Uh, un corto, eh? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Don't you move now. We'll be right back. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at this. Look at this. I mean, can I start eat now? I'm hungry. I don't think that we can talk about it. Not quite yet. Oh my God. Okay. All right. Uh, this is Marta, the super chef, Hi. and at my right, and of course, uh, Monsieur Fred, the wine educator, the wine connoisseur, and we're going to have a brilliant mariage of the food and wine. Ah. Marta, take the floor. This is our Caribbean feast for tonight, Sammy. We're going to be starting out with aperitifs. And with that, I've created an hors d'oeuvre of what I call macadamia crab cakes. Oh, oh. They're spicy, they're served warm, and they're crunchy with the nuts. That adds a little bit of difference to it. And then, you know I like pairing it with contrast. Yes. I have the cool mango mousse to serve. Mango mousse. Yes. You just put mango a little dollop mousse. on mm. top of each mm. one, and it's a nice combination. Mm -mm. Okay. Mango mousse in time for the millennium. <laughs> no. Well said, really. <laughs> well said. Along with that, I would suggest some sort of, uh, like, mojito or some sort of light rum drink to go with it at cocktail hour. Tell me about it. And um, I yep. need to, at this point, turn this over to our connoisseur, <clears throat> Freddie. I tell you, a nice rum cocktail would sit pretty right now. Yes. But we're here to discuss what wines would go with this, because wine maybe, I think, would be, in America, we have to say the wines are a lot more traditional, sit-down mm -hmm. accompaniment to a great food like this. What I would do with this is, I mean, even though there's a lot of let's say things are more adaptable to white wines here, I would gamble, like these crab cakes, I've had them before. They'd sit down with a nice, great Pinot Noir or a great um, Johannesburg Riesling. Something Both to taste go good. with the warm and spicy nature of the crab cakes. Absolutely, the um, salty, sweet combination of the How about the Sauvignon Blanc? No? The Sauvignon Blanc, um, I think... Or um, Macon, Macon Village? Maybe, I mean, the Sauvignon Blanc, maybe... Um, the tart end of a Sauvignon Blanc and the, the salty and maybe would contradict with that with the nuts. But um, I think 
sometimes nuts and like more of a dessertish type. Like people oh, sometimes use nuts as a trail of like grapes, and that's where you maybe get the hint of the Riesling mm -hmm. wine from. So I mean, that, but I like I like sometimes a salty sweet. You rarely mm -hmm. get the opportunity to match that way. Something I think that would be light a, yeah as a first night. course. After that, we're going to move into a salad of mixed organic greens. And this is just a very simple salad. There's nothing in it but all different lettuces. And then I like to crown it with my passion fruit vinaigrette with a little bit passion of mango. Passion fruit vinaigrette. With mango and tamarind. Uh, nothing with mango. the word passion in it could be too bad, uh, could it, Sammy? She loves, she loves mango. Yes, she passion loves. and mango. So um, a winning combination. Maybe a, maybe a different wine or something similar. It's another very well, light dish. With the snapper, I mean, you could go Pinot Noir. I mean, a red Cabernet fan. You, Don't you be like disappointed you mean with a, that. You mean a Pinot Noir with a snapper? Everything. I think the way Marta I was um, told spices that are things are so vastly spiced and so like there's so many different flavors and the matching. They are a little bit seasoned. I, mean, yes, I was told that um, um, fish, you know, it's wet wine and. And then you. But you know me, Sammy. I like to I like oh, to stray true. away from the fundamentals. You like okay. to break the rules. I yeah, like to break the rules. Yes, I am yes, the wine yes, rebel. Yes, the wine <laughs> well, which which leads to our next dish, which is pan-seared spicy red snapper oh, with cilantro and that's, lime. That's great. It's again highly seasoned. It is that's a white great. meat. Is, but, is it uh, difficult to season? Pardon? Is it difficult to season it? Not uh, at all. I don't want. No, no. And with that, I serve Ebor rice salad. This is what I Emo. spoke of before with the olives, pimentos. I have sherry, a little bit of olive oil and garlic, and a lot of saffron. Well, you think about it, I mean, you got cilantro with the snapper, uh -huh. another Spanish type style, what, Caribbean? How do you say the word? Um, it's Caribbean, nuevo, Latino. Your, um, your word? Caruban. 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 Yes, I, love yes, the word I Car like morphing Caribbean and Cuban and calling it Caruban. I just can't click on Caruban that fast in my mind computer, but you know the hint of right, the hint of um, Spanish um, overlies or like you know we might even say like a great sangria, which is maybe a derivative of a Beaujolais, a Beaujolais or a Pinot Noir. We go with this. Obviously, we're not in the '60s hippies and we're not drinking sangria anymore. How about the Pinot Blanc with that? What's what's that? A Pinot, a, a, a Pinot Blanc. A Pinot Blanc. A Pinot Blanc would be nice. I. I don't know why, but when we get like a nice fish meal, uh -huh. a meal of great substance, uh -huh. I prefer red. You prefer red. I prefer red. I know all the wine people out there saying, Freddie, it's white, it's a white fish. What are you saying? <laughs> okay, but well, we have plantanos. This is a very, very simple dish. No seasonings needed at all for plantanos. With I just pan fry them, and then I serve them up with my cilantro lime aioli, which nice. is the garlicky mayonnaise nice dip. I have beer. Thank you. Standing ovation, my dear. This is our meal. That's beautiful. Is that right? All I want to do now, Sammy, is eat and drink. Uh, well, and I think nice. that, you know, uh, <laughs> I have to thank my, my, my friends, you know, uh, Marta. You, you, how long it took you to prepare all that? I mean, you... It, A couple of hours. Oh, my goodness. More you, planning you, and running around to different markets than anything. The cooking oh. time is really minimal. It is, um, it is really, um, really, um, I'm thrilled. Thank you. And then I'm thrilled that you prepare all that for the show. And then sh should I have an opportunity to taste them? Of course. I'm going to be throwing a dinner party for 10 of my friends. And you are invited. Am I invited? Yes. Oh, James. Yes. Next time we're going to make sure that she comes to the show. <laughs> Freddie. I want to come to you too, Sam. <laughs> You're invited, Fred. Oh, You're Marta. <laughs> <laughs> well, on this note, all I can say to all my friends out there who's watching the show, uh, bon appétit, because we're going to have a, a feast over here. Don't you move now. We'll be right back. Hey, Layla. Hi. How do you feel? I feel great. Enjoying yourself? I, it, this is so wonderful. It's, it's delicious. It's, it's wonderful. Wonderful. Yes. Thank you. Mr. Troy, tell us. How are you feeling? I feel great right now. I'm enjoying a wonderful meal, some wonderful wine, and some absolutely great guests. I'm having a wonderful time tonight. Yeah, oh, this is great. I mean, this is, these crab cakes are out of this world. 
Mm. Marta is great, eh? Oh, she's really outdone herself this time. Do you hire her uh, for, for your next um, event? Oh, I would hire her for the next 10 events. I think she should do the big 2000 party, you know, for everybody. <laughs> Marta, standing ovation. <laughs> I'm from Caribbean, so. So I know where you are. You are really, really a connoisseur in crab cakes. Yes, definitely. These are the best. Thank you very much. Ah, Monsieur Pierre, comment ça va? Alors, on a bouffe, ça va? Oh, c'est superbe, c'est superbe. Martha, bravo. La voilà, la belle Martha. Hello, good to be here. Ah, Martha, it is, it, is, it, is a, it is splendid, wonderful table. I just love having all my friends here and getting to throw a dinner party. It's actually one of my favorite things to do. Mr. Fred Wright, yes. welcome to Island of the Caribbean. Well, thank you very much. This is excellent. It's um, superb, but I expect to know less of you, though. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Fred. Mon ami Paul. It's very, very nice. I'm so honored to be here. I'm uh, really enjoying this meal. Monsieur le professeur, the wine educator, how you doing? Oh, the food is great. The food is excellent. I'm stuffed. I'm feeling great. Great people. This is living at its finest, Sam. It's so good, I haven't stopped yet. Marta has definitely outdid herself. Everything is fantastic. Wonderful. Never had Caribbean food, and it's great. Marvelous. But your background is Caribbean. Um, well, you know, I kind of skipped out on eating Caribbean food all my life. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to thank all my friends to be here with me this evening. And on behalf of I on the Caribbean and our staff, thank you, because I know it's Sunday. And you guys, you give up that day to be part of, of this great production. And I would like also to say something. The whole thing in life is family and good friends. And I'm very, very happy to have such good friends like you guys. And, and I would like to raise my glass to Marta. Marta Rose. Marta Rose. Isn't she Rose? <laughs> And then this is Samuel Hayes. <laughs> this is Samuel Hayes. I cannot wait to eat now. This is Samuel Hayes uh, wishing you a bon soirée from I on the Caribbean. Cheers to one of the Caribbean. Oh, I'm Caribbean. Lonely for I on the Caribbean. We like to drink a couple. We like to drink a lot. Bon soirée. <laughs>